I'm Erica Hill. Thanks for joining us on the story. She's with Carrie now. You saw those words. Well, they were sent by Todd Fisher confirming the death of his mother, actress Demi Reynolds, Debbie Reynolds. So well known for his role, of course, as the host of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. He joins us now on the phone from Las Vegas to talk a little bit more about Demi Reynolds. Uh, we really appreciate you taking some time for us. Thanks for being with us today, Robin. Erica, it's nice to talk with you. So give us a sense. There were so many, and Scott laid out some of that for us, but there, there were really so many different points in, by all accounts, a fabulous career for Debbie Reynolds, uh, some of them obviously converging in Las Vegas. Uh, and I know you can speak a little bit, a little bit more to that part of her life for us. She, she Could Amazon's Echo, known to you perhaps as Alexa, help solve a murder case? Not on this story that's being dubbed the Echo murder case. We first told you about it yesterday. Well, police in Bentonville, Arkansas, want to know if the popular voice-activated gadget, the Echo, could actually help solve a murder now. Here's CNN's Martin Savage. Alexa. Her daughter, Carrie Fisher, uh, Debbie Reynolds, was 84. While the cause of her death has not been disclosed, as you heard from some of those fans, many people concluding it must have been a broken heart. Joining me now, clinical psych, you think, oh, well, that, you know, that sounds lovely to say. Right. But it's fascinating that so many people, many of whom didn't know her at all, but even some of those who did, saying, yeah, we think, we think it was a broken heart. Is that possible? It actually is possible, both just from an emotional bond between mother and daughter. And I know you've said this is a bond that's there, even if you're not necessarily close with your mother mm -hmm. or with your daughter, there's still something to that relationship. Right, that attachment, I mean, that's out. Uh, just uh, recently to one of our affiliates, KBC, I want to listen to a little bit of what he had to say. Many of these words used for both women, strong, witty, uh, tenacious, resilient, mm -hmm. and it's fascinating to see how in many ways they were so similar, and they, they had this bond, as you mentioned, and they, and they lived next to one another, but they weren't always yeah. you know, simpatico, <laughs> for lack of a better word. I mean, there were some really rocky times mm -hmm. there. How, in, how much does that figure in, especially as you get, you know, in the golden years, toward the golden years of your life? Well, I, I got to imagine. Perspective for Thanks. us. Thank you. Uh, preparations are underway in Times Square as we shift gears a little bit here. Of court ruling it says if a police officer enters your home and your dog moves or barks, the officer can legally shoot and kill your dog. As you can imagine, that left a lot of people outraged. Pretty much the entire staff here on the story. So I will say, when we first saw, saw this yesterday, one of our producers sent the story out, and a number of us have dogs or love dogs, and we thought, wait a minute, it's a dog. Of course it's going to bark if it doesn't know you and you come to the door. Or it might move. Uh, Matthew, I mean, how, how is that okay when you enter a home? Aren't you expecting a dog to bark? Well, I think there's uh, happy holidays, first of all. Right. <laughs> happy, holidays. happy holidays. Let's talk about killing a dog. Just kidding. <laughs> Most often, we prepare for contingency. To say, hey, it's okay when we know that part of the training and part of what yeah. you do as a tactical maneuver is anticipate this all right so just so viewers uh, know this this case was very fact specific into a home it was a drug warrant they were going in and they knew there was gang activity that was there there was sales coming out of that home that was their information there were people who they thought had guns and weapons and other things so they want a high state of readiness and alertness and doing this on a daily basis well you know I've been in this situation yeah. like dozens of times and it always breaks your heart to have to do this but at the end of the day those it, you know it's an honest mistake yeah. It doesn't happen very often, but it can. Yeah, you know what, Erica? Uh, police uh, have the right to make patches to reasonable conduct, which mm -hmm. means you can't sue the police, but in some circumstances you can, but it's just... And two. 100%. Right. Yeah. But it's not even about following the command in as much as it's about if the officer... And I know yeah. you both are dog lovers. I know you, like you yeah. said, you had dogs your whole life. I grew life, up so with dogs. Like... I have a cat now, but... <laughs> You know, all good. And it all happens in a blink. It happens in a blink of an eye. Yeah. We go into a situation. It's a Joey. Yeah, good to have both of you with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, well, first he said, President. When we look at this, we hear mm -hmm. people. You know, people who knew them, people who didn't, coming out and saying, mm -hmm. "Well, clearly she must have died of a broken heart." Yes. Is it possible? It's absolutely possible, and it is a condition that was like they are so close. Yeah. And for a mother to lose a daughter and, mm -hmm. and children was not without its rough patches. Without right. was not without its rocky moments. And and I found this interesting. Something that uh, that Debbie Reynolds said, talking about what it must have been like growing up as her daughter. She was mm -hmm. talking about this in 2011. I think we have that clip. So difficult for a person in, in Todd Fisher's position, mm -hmm. uh, losing his sister, losing his mother. Yes. Uh, Carrie Fisher's daughter, of course, is just 24 years old. She loses her mother and her grandmother in the span of yes. you know, barely 24 hours. Oh boy, here's a little bit of possible gossip for you. Could J-Lo and Drake be dating? Hmm. End review. 
it's always a little bit surprising when you look at the number of people who have passed throughout the year. But if you feel like 2016 was hit especially hard, well, you're not imagining things. From rock stars to film and TV, great sports legends, no part of the entertainment world was untouched. The music industry, though, was especially hard hit. Here's CNN's Gene Casares with a look back on the year many entertainment fans might rather forget. America Hill. We'll see you right back here tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern. Stay tuned. Forensic Files is next on HLN.